Hello there guys. Today we're going to do something a little different. Normally I give you a position and I say it's white to move and win or white to move and save a draw or something like that. But today I'm just going to tell you it's white to move and you're going to decide for yourself. Are you playing this one for a win or are you trying to fight for saving a draw? It's up to you. Our pawn is, of course, going in this direction, so it's blocked right now by black pawn. The kings have a long way to go, both of them, but there will be a race, and who comes out on top? Well, let's see about that. So, uh, it's very, very important to the next move for white. It's going to decide everything, practically, so you need to really focus here. Post the video. Think about this, decide for yourself if you're going to try to win it or if you're going to just try to save this draw. Go ahead. All right, welcome back. So it looks promising because we have like one, two, three, four, five steps here. While Black King has one, two, three, four to come close to this pawn. But it's our turn to start. But this is very deceitful because we cannot go for the victory here. The uh, natural move, king g5, doesn't win for us. Actually, it loses. Black will play king to c2. It's important for him to not go straight up. He wants to go here. Just now we're taking away our chance to draw this. Because he will block us and get the opposition out here. Let me show you. If we just keep on fighting here, now it doesn't matter. We made our choice. We go up towards these pawns. And black will do the same. And he will now go to b5. Attack here. We go and uh, protect it. And we attack here. But we will lose. Because black has this good move. Knight a6. Covers his pawn, attacks ours, and we are in Sugsvang. We have to move here, and we made a mistake. Because now it's very, very easy win for black. He can play to a5, b5, doesn't matter. He reads the opposition, which is two steps ahead of the pawn, and we cannot do anything about it. Black will win this. Here he can go to a4 with the king, or move his pawn one step, not two steps. That would be a draw. But you can do something like this and then just run with his pawn. I think you all know this basic uh, endgame theory. So I'm not going to show you more than that. So this is actually losing. What about king g4 then? Well, this is losing also due to king c2. This is the very important move for black to start with. c2. He needs to take opposition out here. And now if we try to do something like this and... Maybe go down here, maybe go down here. Well, black will come to d3. Now he forces up to into the same variation. We cannot go around. It's too, uh, too slow. I mean, if we go to f3, then we just don't have time to catch him. He will go here and he will have the time to go to a5 again. And like before, it's winning. So, from the starting position, white has to decide, no, I'm not going to try to win this. I'm just going to fight to the draw. And I have to start with king g3. Now look at this. Black plays king c2 again, trying to block us away. But now we can go down to f2. If the king comes to d3, we can go to e1. And let's play this out and we go back to the last position and look at other choices okay we've done our choice and now we can just follow him we come from below he takes our pawn and we get the opposition with king b4 he's not allowed to a5 or c5 or anywhere else he has to move somewhere else and we just follow in the same path and i think you've seen this also obviously this is a draw we get the opposition, we will stop this pawn. Okay, let me show you, talked about here. 
That's if black tries to attack. What happens if it plays simply king d2 and try to block us out? Well, here is very important for us. We have to make the right move. Can you see it? Yes, we have to do, go down to f1. We cannot be drawn into a race where we go to f3. Then he will be happy, block us out. We have to allow him to go up and then go to e1. And if he plays king d1, well, it's just going to be a repetition because we're going to do this all day long if we need to. Sooner or later, he will have to go up. We will follow from the from below and then just follow him and block him. So the starting position is very crucial. We cannot go attacking or something in between. We have to defend by going back trying to get down to e1 and then follow up and then just fight to save the draw. So that is the uh, solution to this. Settle for the draw and start with very defense move like king g3 and you will you will get half a point and be happy with that. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.